Hello, 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 hello. I have another video that I have to upload to YouTube, but we're going to do this one as well. So we're going to be having some videos. I am plum ass tired. No way of getting around that one. Plum ass tired. It is a hundred and five degrees outside. Our heat index has kicked in. We're under a severe heat um, advisory. And I've been in and out of it since 1030 this morning. I have no idea what time it is now. Okay, let's see. It's 20 minutes to 4. We had our gate, we have a locked gate, and we had our gate um, closed earlier this morning. And Hubster came in this room because he had his surgery, and so I'm letting him have that bed to himself because he has drain balls and all kinds of stuff. He got cut from here all the way down to here. The mesh taken out that was in there and they put all new mesh in and he's just been having an awful time with it. So I decided that I was going to come in here and sleep for the next couple of, you know, for a week or two or whatever. It's no big deal, you know. But as you can see, I got a Timu. This is only one thing that's in this box, and I know that because the other stuff, I already opened the container and went through it to make sure that everything was all right. We will go through this in a little bit. But this I already opened. And like I said, I went through it. And I don't have the price list on my phone in, uh, right now. I can get it. But right now I don't have the price list for some of this stuff. And I have a very small one box. I don't know, I had to order a new, um, I'm taking my address off. I had to order a new garden hose. I have like four or five garden hoses, one for my garden up top. Yeah, I know, look at that. Look at them, turkey necks is what I call them. It's okay. It's hotter than blazes outside and getting away with wearing something like the top that I wear is understandable. I am looking for my scissors. I put them in here. Okay, here they are. Um, I don't know if this is my garden pose, which it doesn't feel as heavy as one, so we will find out right now. So this is a combination of one thing from Walmart. And I needed a couple of things. My husband requested I need some trash bags. Well, I got those yesterday. A special kind of trash bag anyway. But I don't think this is my garden hose. I think this is something else that my husband asked for because he's been very sick with this surgery the last time. It says it is a garden home. Well, I didn't know that Walmart carried this one thing that my husband wanted and it's liter literally called puke bags and they come in different colors and 
I ordered two packs of the, if I can get this open, because for some reason this piece doesn't want to open, but I guess this is my garden hose. Because my garden hose, I bought myself one of those garden hose real things. And it is, it's my garden hose. Real light for a garden hose. I'll tell you that right now. Look at that. It comes in a nifty little carrying case. And this lovely little garden hose. I bought one of the real things from the garden hose. And okay, here's the nozzle for the garden hose. Nifty nifty has all kinds of settings on it and here's the garden hose itself it's a hundred foot garden hose real lightweight it feels like the garden hose tape and whatever it even comes with a holder for it i'm not going to use the holder little instructions I guess for it. It's actually gonna go oh and it already has the on and off. Okay, so apparently it goes this way. On and off little valve here for the garden hose. So nifty. I wanted one that will not tangle up on me will not get kinks because the garden hose that we have gets kinks like crazy and it drives me insane and i needed a hundred feet to go from my front door to behind my trailer to over on the other side of my house over here because i got plants all over up here and with it being a hundred degrees you got to water them. So, it was either that or I start carrying a bucket back and forth because the garden hose, see, now I took it out of here. Now I can't get back into the bag. Go figure. Pow, 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 pow. No. Oh. Sorry. I'm, I'm tired and I'm hot. And part of me wants to take a nap, and the other part of me is hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I never eat breakfast, which is not a good thing. But I never do. Okay, now I got it back in there. See, it just made a liar out of me. Look at there. All right. So, let's go through this stuff. Let me see if I can find real quick the prices from my Timu stuff <sighs> because you know uh, I don't know which is which I have so many of them on there okay that's this one okay so i found the prices all right this small bag we'll do the ones that are ready out okay this is a hat and with the heat obviously comes the sun and when you're up the hill you get the sun real bad in your eyes and I saw this and I thought you know what it even comes with a little strap I thought you know what this looks like something that would work for me let's get that in there oh these okay so we have 
this hat here. It's got a nice little flower design on the inside. Nice little hat. It's got a little net on the inside for all your sweat, you know. And because I always wear my hair in a ponytail, I figured, ah, my ring is stuck in my thing. There we go. It's a little big right now, but I figured, what the hey, you know, blocks the sun. I don't have to worry about it. I won't get sunburned on my face, you know. I got a hair clip in, and like I said, this comes with the clip. And that hat was $2.87. It's called the Women's Wide Brim Sun Hat. So, that's that. Then the next thing I have here is a one-piece stove protector. I can't believe they got all this stuff into this bag. This bag. And my stove is the shape of this. So, however, it's, I don't know. We will find out if this is really going to work. It's a one piece stove protector. It's a, I don't know, vinyl I guess? I don't know what that is. But you put it on your stove, you know, it's easy to clean off. My husband says hopefully it won't start on fire, so we'll see. We will see. I hope it doesn't start on fire, to tell you the truth. And that was $6.48. It did come with another piece, but it's somewhere in this bag. Then, I got a magnetic, magnetic, mag magnetic, whatever, little rubber shelf for on top of my stove so I can put my salts, my peppers, my oils, you know, whatever on top of there. So it's got the magnets on the bottom and I guess you stick it on top of your stove and it's easy cleanup. And that was eight dollars and nine cents for that. Thought I saw something. Oh, okay. Then I have three. I don't know why I got all the same color, but I got three of these hair clips. The hair clips. Okay, hair clips were a dollar forty-seven each. You know, because my hair is long, it grew since I last cut it, obviously. So I got three of these, and I think they're all the same. Once I find them. There's another one. I'm just going to pull everything out. At this moment. Okay, there's that card that goes along with the stove protector. And here's the other one. So all three of them are all the same. I don't know why I got the same, but it is what it is. So 
those were a dollar forty seven for a piece. A dollar forty seven a piece. Then this goes with the protector and I'm shocked that it's only one piece, but this goes between your stove and your your countertop to keep all the junk from falling in between. So little rubber piece. And that's that. These are for your sheets. My sheet keeps on popping off. You roll over, it pops off. You roll over, it pops off. So I decided I was going to get the straps. Ow! That hurt. Okay. At least you know it's going to stay on there because that sucker hurt. Okay, so then you put this onto your sheet and it's supposed to keep it from rolling off. So it comes with four. Four nice little straps. Because our sheets keep on rolling off, so... I got that. Uh, let's see. And for the pack of four, it's three dollars and seventy-nine cents. Then I got this phone case. It's the only one I could find that was good enough, I guess. For my phone, it's called Fashion Case little blue phone case. I'm hoping it'll work. It should. Let's take it out of the package. Let's try and the phone case was let me see. Two dollars and ninety eight cents. For the phone case. We'll take off the chickens here. And my phone doesn't fit. Yeah, my phone's too tall for it. It's the right kind just the wrong size phone. Yeah. So, oh well, for two dollars and some odd cents, I ended up getting the wrong size. My phone is longer than this. So, win some, you lose some, I guess. We go back to the chickens. I like the chickens anyways. So no big deal. And let's see. I lost my... Okay, here we go. So that was $2.98 for the phone case. Then I got these headbands that come already done up and they're nice and silky. I tried it on. It does stretch to your size. Like so. Just like that. And I got two of them, if I could find the other one. Here it is. I got one in gray and one in red. 
real, real silky. You know, something to catch the, the, um, the gray one is a boho headband, and it was, whew, excuse me, it's a dollar ninety-seven for the gray one, and for the red one is a boho headband as well. It's a dollar sixty-seven. So there you go. Nice little headband. Matches my shirt sort of. So rock on. No. Uh, and then I got a ring sizer. This is a ring sizer. Because I don't really know what size my pointy finger is, or my thumb, or my middle finger, or my ring finger. Well, I know my ring finger is an eight and a half, but I don't know what size my, you know, I don't even know how to measure it. I'm sure. See how to do this. It's a little hard to do by yourself. All it wants to do is move all around. Ow! So, I'm saying it's about a size 13. That's a big finger, Sally. Big finger. But the ring sizer, one piece ring sizer was 48 cents. That's what that is. The ring sizer, we're going to put it back in the bag so we don't lose it. Hello, Mr. Rocco. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. But my hip has been hurting for days. Okay, we took everything out of the bag. And I can go down there. Then, I got myself something just because. I have no idea. I just wanted to see what it looked like. And I bought myself a fake nose ring. I figured what the heck. Who in the hell is going to care if I have a, a real one or a fake one? I wanted to see what it was all about. Can I handle having it in my nose? It's a little butterfly. If y'all can see that. So let's see. I feel like I'm... Here we go. What do y'all think? I don't know. I can't really see it from here. But what do y'all think here? Is it me? Is it my style? I don't think so. But hey, maybe we'll try it out for the day and see. I don't know. So we bought a fake nose ring. Just because, I don't know. My niece has one, and it looks kind of nifty, so I thought, what the hell? Then, oh, and that was, for the fake nose ring, 88 cents. Rock on, dude. Rock on. So then, I bought myself, and I think these are up here. Yeah. 
these are supposed to be nighttime driving glasses that go over your glasses. Nice little yellow hair. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. I guess sort of like that, but not quite. But, you know, it's supposed to help with the nighttime vision. Because when those headlights come at you, I gotta sometimes look away. I don't know. So I thought, what the hell? Might as well get myself some nighttime sunglasses. Maybe that's what they are. I don't know. But these were $2.18 for them. My hip is hurting real bad, y'all. And I got another pair just because. And these were $2.18. They also clip on to your regular glasses. Just like that. Dude. I'm styling now, ain't I? And I get my nose ring put in. Hey, we'll be really styling. Dude, I look like a biker chick, sort of. Sort of, not quite. But, you know, not that I really want to be, or a real ugly biker dude. You know, just, you know, just. Gotta have my water here. My straw is on the inside. You ever get real bad cotton mouth? I'm gonna burp in a few minutes, so give me. That was two dollars and eighteen cents for those sunglasses. Then I have these that literally go over your glasses. And then, you know, even though they get tinted, sometimes it's still too bright. Excuse me, I knew I was going to burp. Sometimes it gets too bright. And these are like really stiff. It's a holy Moses. But check these out, y'all. Dude! My mom had a pair that was kind of like these, but hers were all uh, brown. And these are $3.28 for these. They come with a nice little carry-in pouch here. Right over your glasses. I can play poker with these because then you can't tell my eyes like oh I got a really good hand you have to have that poker face hmm put the glasses on and nobody can see your eyes But y'all probably wear these more than the clip-on ones. I don't know. We will see. Okay, where did the little case just go? Oh, right there in front of me. Look at that. So, anywho. There's that. And like I said, these were... Three dollars and twenty-eight cents for those. Then, y'all, a bracelet. I love butterflies. I love the color purple. 
And if it's all in one, it's good for me. It's a, let's see if I can get it somewhere. You can see the butterfly in the infinity and it says love. I don't know if I'll be able to put it on by myself. But I like it. I might have to have my husband help me put it on once he wakes up from his nap. Yeah, I can't get it on by myself. I gotta try to straighten out these straps here. But it's infinity. It's got a nice little butterfly and then it's just two plain straps here and it says love on the last one so very very cute very cute and then I got myself a couple of rings even though I have no idea what size my finger really is I thought what the hell where did I buy ourselves a ring came in this nice little carrying case this one did and Timu has a lot of rings. Alright, come on now. So I purposely got a good size that possibly will fit. But here is the ring. A nice black ring with little bling on it, and it does fit. I like putting my rings in many different. This is a Timu ring, and these are Timu rings. So nice little black ring nice little pouch then I got another one another ring oh and that black ring was eight dollars and 78 cents then we got another one and this is supposed to be a wolf ring for 98 cents I think it's pretty gorgeous little ring and it does fit so apparently my finger is a size 11 eight and a half, eleven, and I think, yep, an eleven. So these two are eleven, this one's an eight and a half, so there you go. I love it. It's too big for my thumb. It'll fall right off, but it fits my ring finger just right. 
I love the blue stones that are in it. Very pretty ring. Very pretty. And that was 98 cents for that ring. Then I ended up getting a whole bunch of earrings that came in one huge package. It's a vintage brown scalloped earrings for $5.77. And you get a whole bunch of them for $5.77. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And right now, the ones that I'm about to open, I like a lot. I think it's very pretty. Big loops. I wear earrings, but not very often. When we go out sometimes, I'll throw on a pair. And for $5.77 for 10 earrings, why not? If I can find the hole. Nice earrings. I got my ears pierced fairly late in life. I was like 13. Look at that. I like them. Then, we have this pair. I think I just lost the holder for them. I think they're cute. And I do wear brown outfits every now and then, so those are cute. And we have, these are even cuter than the ones that I just showed you. So if you haven't checked out Timu, go and check them out. Here's the backing to these. One of them anyway, so I think I lost one on the floor, but the packing. Then we have these. I'm not going to take them all out of the package, but these are wooden balls. And these are just the round hoop. This one I might have to take out of the package so you can see it better. Those 
are pretty. I like the little stones are different colors. My mom wore earrings like this. The ones where they simply just go in your ear and then you close it up. So I think those are nice. And I might start wearing earrings a little bit more. Well, for God's sake. What the holy. Oh. Well, for heaven's sake, Betsy, look. in there. Okay, there we go. Those are cute earrings. Look like a um, little bit of a sunflower-ish. Then we have these and I have a pair of earrings that would that look similar to that feathered earring. And then, and the only reason why I'm trying to hurry a little bit is because my hip is starting to hurt real bad here. Oh wow. Those are kind of cool. These are longer, sort of like the other ones, but Brush off your face? No, just kidding. Pretty nifty. I won't throw that away because it has the backing to it. Which I might have to go through some of these. And then one more pair. careful here. I like them as well. It's a little rose. So those are pretty. But my favorites so far are these. And I see the backings on this so I don't want to lose them. So yeah, that is my Timu haul from that part. And these were five dollars and seventy seven cents for ten earrings. How do you like them apples? I like them a lot. I really do. It doesn't go with my outfit or anything, but I like them. I have to go through the bags and see if they have any backings to them but I really do like those so that is it for this portion of 
my two new hauls. And so, all together, I paid $62.32 for this small um, bunch. Now, the big box, which there's only one thing in the big box. bag or something to put those in. Because my dog will come through and sniff them and then... And let me see if I can find the email that had that. Okay, there it is. Doesn't say the price. I believe I remembered. Okay. Okay, there's the price. You will absolutely go, Sally, what did you buy? Why did you buy? I bought this because my niece is coming to stay with me. She's going to be going to college down here because the college up by where she's at doesn't have the classes that she wants. She wants to go to school for funeral um, services and it's something that she has her heart set on so I say bravo to that for her wanting to do that she said Sally can I come stay with you I said sure in fact the bed that I'm sitting on she's going to use so i figured I'd start getting bits and pieces of things for her to put her clothes in or whatever. There's going to be, right now the closet is full of stuff, but there's going to be a dresser that's going to be in here. So she will have a dresser, but she will have other things as well to put in the dresser. She also loves to draw, so she's going to be maybe pursuing that as well. She wants also to be a tattoo artist, but the one thing she really wanted to do was funeral service. So. Like I said, she called me and she says, Aunt Sally, I want to sign up for this in college. And I said, okay. Because not only did my parents leave me and my brother an inheritance, or inheritance, inheritance, they also left her some money. And so... She's going to use a bit of it, not all of it, a bit of it to take these courses is something she wants to do and she's also going to apply for student loans. So getting this out of this box or out of this package is taking quite some time, ain't it? The lady at the post office is, 
she was asking me, do I order from Timu often? I said, yeah, often enough. This, you guys, I saw, I literally saw commercials for it a couple of times through YouTube here and I thought it seems to be something right up my alley so and as you can see it is storage If I can get it on the plastic here, because they taped it to the box. So, oh well. If I can get the top of this box open, maybe I can get the merchandise. why they put a big old sign on the side of the package, do not open. Because customs will open everything. Make sure that nobody's smuggling, smuggling drugs. Now this was the most expensive thing on Timu, but I believe it's going to be well worth it. These are collapsible storage containers and you put them all together And you attach the commercial made it seem very easy to put together. You put them all together, it comes in three. I believe this goes on top somehow. Somehow or another it goes on top. But these are collapsible storage containers that comes with wheels. And I thought that that would be fantastic for what we need it for. Like if she wants to put her art supplies or her books. See they snap together and I believe this goes on top. Maybe not. I don't know. But the whole set was eighty eighty four dollars and forty eight cents for it's a three piece um, collapsible storage container. That's what that is. So three pieces it has these little doors. Nice little leather handle. They snap into place. And then you take the other one and you put them on top. 
like so and it has a little carrying uh, handle. There we go. Maybe this goes on the bottom. But that's what that is. I figured she can put stuff in it and it's magnetic so if she wanted to put you know some of her stuff in it and it's stacked on top of each other and then it comes with wheels The wheels that you gotta, I don't know what this is for, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Little mini wheels, I guess, or for the corners. I don't know, none of this stuff ever comes with directions. That's the only thing. I have no idea what this is for. Oh, maybe the bottom? Yeah, maybe in the bottom if you don't want the wheels. I guess you can use... You know. I don't know. I think maybe that's what it's for. And just stick them on the bottom. And it has little mini wheels on it. But then you got these wheels that go on the bottom. I'm going to assume. And like I said, it's three that stack on top of each other for 80 something dollars. I'm not going to sit here and put it all together and waste your time. So, for $84.48, you get three piece collapsible storage container that just pops together. It's got wheels. little legs that I believe go on the bottom because I don't think it goes on top. And then once you get this on top, I'm sure I'll find out. But anyways, y'all, that is it. That is the haul. We got 
a new garden hose from Walmart. We got some storage from Timu. I got one more in here to figure out. And we got some earrings, some other stuff. So that is it. Yeah. We got a headband that keeps on moving on me, so who knows, y'all. We got some hair clips. I got myself a bruise. From what I have no idea, but it's there. But anyways, peace, y'all. Once I can reach the computer.